It's Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here, and we're going to discuss how to reboot your Macintosh computer. Well, you've got a few options to do this, and I'm going to walk you through them right now. The first is on the top left-hand corner, you're going to see an apple. Once that comes down, you take your drop-down measure here to shut down, and then your shutdown screen comes up here. Are you sure you want to shut down your computer? Yes, I do. Well, in this case, I'm going to cancel it because I'm going to show you how to shut it down a couple of different ways. Now, if you can't navigate over to there, even though the Apple is always there in that upper left-hand corner all the time, another little trick is Control Eject. Now, this works on both laptops and desktop computers alike. And you're going to see here, hey, are you sure you want to shut your computer down now? Well, maybe. My choices here are to restart it, put it to sleep, to cancel out of it, or to go ahead and hit enter and shut it down. Again, I am going to cancel out of it. Another way to do it is to hold down the power button for about five to seven seconds. Power buttons on, for almost the last decade, uh, on the laptops and the other units have been located here in the upper right hand corner. Ours is right down over here, and if we hold it down for five to seven seconds, screen will blink off and it'll go through its restart process. Nine out of ten times, that should get you to where you're going. There are some more severe ways to do that, but warning, anything beyond here is subject to loss of data or damaging of the machine. If these procedures that I mentioned to you do not work properly, well, a little bit more drastic measure is to take away all power sources to the unit. It is drastic. If it's a desktop, that means unplugging it and leaving it unplugged for a little bit. No electricity, no computer and hopefully when you plug it back in, it'll kick it to restart to where it needs to be. Again, there is a significant chance that you lose data or, or exacerbate whatever the problem is with the computer. So use that as a uh, method of last resort. It should want to be able to shut down safely and properly. Now the laptop, if you're doing something that drastic, that's an extra step because it means removing the battery in the back of it. And again, when you just yank power from computers, um, not always the best thing, but if it's your only option, it may be something that you might consider. So to recap, you've got your Apple and go down to shutdown mode to reboot it. You have your ability to go and hit control eject to bring up your reboot screen. You can hold down your power button from five to seven seconds and watch it reboot. And then if it's drastic, you can remove all power, but a severe warning on that. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert saying reboot to happiness.